iPhone 7 rumors continue, pointing to how thin the device might be. We get a ton of leaks regarding both Nexus devices to come, and Sony plans some major discounts for its latest and greatest experience. I'm Jaime Rivera, and the Pocket Now Daily will return next week. I will be in Vegas covering CTIA. Uh, so yeah, this video pretty much came because I had to tell you guys. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with the hottest devices that we saw at IFA 2015, the new Sony Xperia smartphones. If you are in the market for any of these and you're in Europe, then you are in luck because Sony's own store is uh, starting to sell these at a price tag that's crazy. It's almost $200 less than the retail price tag that they hinted, which is great. That's a great way to start selling these devices like hotcakes because they are kind of worth the money. And for those of you interested in the future LG Nexus 5, which is apparently going to be the Nexus 5X, we get some more leaks of the back. And uh, yeah, this is probably not the hottest looking phone ever. It actually reminds me of a very cheap phone. But then again, that is the whole scope. Apparently LG and Google want to make this a very affordable device to remind us of the old Nexus 5 and Nexus 4. Let's just see what we get in the end. Moving the spotlight over to the Huawei Nexus. Those of you curious for its display size, we thought it would be just like the Nexus 6, but we've got two conflicting listings from trusted sources that claim that this device will apparently be, you know, smaller. It'll have a 5.5 inch display instead of what we get on the Nexus 6, which is a very interesting change. Makes us wonder exactly why it will be called the Nexus 6 2015 or whatever the case may be. But uh, stay tuned, it could be that these listings are just wrong. We will learn more soon. And isn't it funny that we are just a couple of days away from Apple's event for the iPhone 6S and we already get rumors of the iPhone 7. We've got trusted sources, KGI Securities, they are very famous for Apple leaks and their accuracy. And they're already claiming that the iPhone 7 will be the thinnest device ever. Not just from Apple, but the thinnest device ever. We're not exactly sure how Apple plans to do that or what the whole idea will be for this product to be uh, unbendable because that was obviously a concern. We don't get any details as to how many millimeters thin that product will be, but that makes sense. Obviously, we don't want competitors knowing, right, Apple? And finally, for the very hot rumors of the day, the iPad Pro is apparently going to happen, and we've got trusted sources that claim what we are getting. Apparently, it'll ship with iOS 9.1 for reasons we don't yet know, but it'll have some software enhancements for that. In addition to that, color options will apparently be the same to the ones we currently see on iPads, but uh, What's going to make this device hot are actually the accessories as apparently we are getting a stylus and we are also getting a keyboard accessory as well. And if this doesn't ring a bell to every other Windows tablet that's out there, then hey, where have you been? Apparently you will also get two storage options, 64 gigs and 128 gigs, which is actually a good thing. But uh, hey, it leads me to the question of the day. Yes, there are a ton of Windows tablets out there that bring the features that Apple will retail this iPad Pro with. So what would this iPad Pro have to do or bring that would make you want to buy it? In my case, let's just be clear about this, OS X. If it doesn't run a full operating system or a better version of OS X or a better version of iOS, uh, that's optimized, I really wouldn't care about it because it would not be a productive tablet, period. But leave us a comment down below. What is your case? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get those earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in a few weeks.